I'm joined now by the show star, Kevin Spacey. As many are asking if truth is becoming stranger than fiction this campaign season, Mr. Spacey, welcome to Meet the Press. Thank you for having me. Uh, not to, I don't want to, we don't want to do spoilers here, yes, yes. but let's see. This season, a Supreme Court vacancy, you have a KKK scandal, an ISIS-inspired group, a battle with the NRA. What, are you doing a documentary? Uh, it, 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 it's amazing here, and you filmed this before this campaign started. Yeah, this has happened uh, every season uh, that we have shot house of cards where we have decided on a storyline mm -hmm. we have written it we have shot it <laughs> and then just before the series gets dropped something very close to what we have decided to uh, develop happens in real life and i know people think that we've ripped it from the headlines right. but it's actually the other way around we we think somehow they're they're getting our stories well you know maybe this is the merging of reality television and 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 scripted television but let me ask you this and this is i'll, I'll admit it's, it's maybe just a criticism from me but uh house of cards some of the other politically themed dramas they paint politicians as pretty nasty individuals you at all worried that it does contribute to this assumption and that maybe it's contributing to the real life feeling people seem to have about politicians today? Uh, look, I believe in public service and I've always believed in public service and I, I, I've been sort of involved in politics my whole life. Mm -hmm. I, I have great admiration for people who decide uh, that they can do something, that they can try to gather people together to help uh, make this country a better place. Um, so I, I'm remarkably hopeful and, I, and, I'm, and I'm an optimist in that way. I think, look, we are an entertainment program. We're a fictional show. Um, although there are times when, you know, we'll shoot some sequence and I'll get back to the hotel after and I'll think, gosh, you know, did we push it too far? Did Is we, that right? did we do? cross the Rubicon? And then I, I turn on the news and I go, well, actually, we, we probably haven't gone far enough. Well, no, and I wonder that, and that's what I mean, like, which is, you know, which is pushing the other? I someday. just think there's, there's the right amount of wrong going on that it's a very interesting campaign. So, all right, I got to ask the inevitable question. What would Frank Underwood make of Donald Trump? Uh, you know, I was, I was asked this question recently, that, that if Donald Trump and Frank Underwood were in a debate, mm -hmm. who would win the debate? And I thought about this for quite some time, and then I said, as long as we understand that there is a distinction, that one of these figures is a fictional character, and yeah. the other is a fictional character. And I think, <clears throat> as long as you understand that distinction. It's a good thing we have a little audience in here. You needed a little bit there. Little bit. You need a, Literally, it's like a drum roll just did, happened. You yeah. just did it, you know, it's Sunday morning. It takes people, takes people a while longer. Uh, I think it's interesting that you have, it's one thing, and I've seen this with actors, they'll play a politician, and then they just move on to other. They move on to other projects. You do seem to have embraced this uh, a little bit. You're into documentaries. You're now making a movie about. You're going to play Nixon. I did play uh, Nixon, yeah. and, and with a, an Elvis-themed movie with Nixon, which has been. Uh, it, it sounds fun. It's a is true it, story. It, they, oh, I know. They actually met in 1970. And and is it just made this more interesting to you? Do you find yourself now gravitating more to politics just as a as a civilian? No, it's a, I think it's just a, the happenstance of, of things that you know the the, the Elvis. Uh, um, Nixon film was offered to me m a number of years ago, mm -hmm. uh, but it didn't work out. Um, and, and it's this remarkable, we, we actually, our tagline I think is the really good one that on December 20th, 1970, two of America's greatest recording artists met for the first time. Um, and uh, it, it's this crazy story where Elvis uh, came to Washington and wanted to be made an undercover federal agent at large uh, and, and wanted Nixon to give him a badge. So it, it's, it's all just this uh, sort of side of, of uh, um, it's, a, it's a farce, uh, obviously, uh, right. but we play it very seriously. Uh, but no, I, I, I've always been fascinated by politics, and, I, and at the moment I'm having such an extraordinary time uh, playing Fr Frank Underwood, a, a remarkable character that, that Bo Williman and, and David Fincher really put on the map that I've been, it's such a pleasure to play. All right, how many more seasons? Don't know yet. Will we'll you see. do another one? Oh, definitely, yeah, if they want. All right, well, that means I haven't seen it all the way. We're not going to give it any alerts. Yeah, you start your binge tonight. I will start my binge tonight, <laughs> uh, and we shall see. Kevin Spacey, it was a pleasure, sir. Thank you so much. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here, and then click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.